Well, you know, this is obviously an important game for us. Um, there's a lot at stake. We're trying to get our first SEC win, and we've played pretty well in this league but hadn't gotten the W, and we're playing a, a team who's playing really well now. They had Florida on the ropes. Their quarterback's playing a little better. Uh, so it's going to be a big challenge for us. Coach, we will start you off with Edward Ashoff of ESPN.com. I was just wondering if, if there's any talk at all about, you know, bowl eligibility, anything like that, extra motivation for this team. No, Ed, I've, the biggest thing we focused on is trying to be 1-0. and o. And, you know, we did it last week. That was all our focus was just be 1-0 and o, uh, any way we can do it. And, and so – and our team's kept their focus pretty good. I think the reality is they know what's at stake. Uh, certainly uh, going to a bowl game – uh, is a big deal, and um, it's still out there, and it's our opportunity to go take advantage of. And I know that you'd like to be more involved with the defense. What sort of changes are you hoping to get out of this unit this weekend? Well, I'm, I'm you know, of course, spending all my time over there and more to be just a, another eye uh, to try to make sure that our players are out there uh, not confused and not thinking. Uh, and then they're also uh, able to – uh, go play as as well as they can play and, and put them in that kind of position. So uh, there'll be some. We've made some significant changes that I hope will, will show up a little bit on game day. Uh, but it's certainly not some you know you can overhaul in one in one week. Next we have Dave Matt of the Columbia Tribune. Derek, Missouri's offense has, has had some struggles this year. What what progress did you see from them in their in their Florida game that could pose some problems in in your game? Well, I think. You know, the struggles they've had a lot have, you know, their quarterback hadn't played uh, a lot and consistently. So he's been banged up and hurt. And anytime you lose uh, your quarterback, a really good one like that, it, it's naturally going to uh, impact uh, the results. I mean, we ran through that last year a little bit on offense. Uh, so that's been the biggest thing. But then against Florida, you could really see they generated a lot of yards, uh, there were a lot of guys open. And they missed, you know, they missed some things, but they're close on. Uh, so you can really see their confidence coming back, and that's what's going to be our challenge. Next is Danny Brewer, the Rutherford Reader. Hey, Coach, how we doing? Hey, Danny. The open field gyrations of Cordero Patterson, is that something you taught the kid, or is it just his instinct? <laughs> No, I, in fact, I'm, it's very important to me that I don't tell him anything once he gets the ball in his hands. He's just one of those special guys uh, when he touches the ball. And so the hardest part for us is making sure we can find a way to get him to touch it enough and get him in space. Coach, what about the tailback? Uh, I know Ray John's back, and you've had Marlon. Could, could Patterson be some back there too this week? Well, yeah, we've we've run him back there some, and and you know we get him to him in the return game, and and certainly on reverses and that sort of thing. So anyway, we can try to get him to touch the ball. Uh, it's it's going to be it's going to help us.